I'm XO. And one of the really common questions I'm getting right now is how do I upgrade to version 6 when I already have version 5 merged with an existing LaunchBox install? Uh, now this is different than uh, you just have version 5 and it's standalone. If you have version 5, excuse me, version 5 standalone, it's really simple. Uh, delete it and then download 6 and use it instead. Uh, every game has changed in version 6. All the backend files have changed. There's nothing similar. Uh, if you're worried about losing your save game files, there are ways to get around that. Maybe. Depends on if you've changed that version of the game or not completely. Uh, I would recommend you come over to the Discord and tell us the exact game that you're trying to retain a save file from. And we can walk you through it, if possible. But, if you have version 5 and it is installed into an existing launch box where you, you've, you've done a merge at some point and you want to upgrade that to version 6. It is not difficult to do, so don't worry. It is pretty simple. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to the EXO folder uh, that's in your launch box that you've already installed version 5 to. Delete the EXO DOS folder. Then Delete the util folder, U-T-I-L. Now, make sure your launch box is not running when you do all this. <laughs> it's a bad deal. At that point, you're going to take the files from version 6 that you downloaded, and you're going to take the EXO folder from version 6 and copy it into your launch box install folder that you just deleted out of. This is going to re-add the Exodus folder to it. It's also going to copy a util dot, the util folder back, but it's only going to have two files in it, util.zip and unzip.exe. Now, go to the content folder of version 6. Grab all the stuff inside of it. There's a game data folder with a lot of stuff underneath it. And then three files if you don't have the media pack. It'll be seven files if you do have the media pack. Copy all that into the content folder of the launch box install that you have. Now, finally, go to the version 6 folder you downloaded. Get the setup file and grab anything else that's in that root folder. The setup file, the Exodus manual, the readme. Copy all that to the launch box folder that you have already been using. Once you've done that, run the setup exodus.bat file. It will see that you have already got LaunchBox installed and it will ask you if you want to install version six to your existing LaunchBox install. Hey, it's pretty smart. Hit yes. Go get a sandwich. <laughs> go get a lot of sandwiches. Go, go to lunch. Have a sit down lunch. Have a margarita while you're out. Maybe go, go to the park for a while. Come back. Uh, it's going to ask you a couple questions, though, so don't go too far. It takes some time, though, to, un uh, to extract all this stuff. But it will extract everything. When it is done, you start LaunchBox, and you will have all of your previous stuff in there, whether it was non-Exo projects, whether it was Win3X, ScumVM, anything that I've already previously made, that won't get messed up by any of this. Um, it will have installed version 6 and you will see version 6 now when you start it and you'll see all the playlists it'll all be great if you have any problems or any questions what's the answer the discord please come to the discord um, if it's a we have a help channel it's like a forum you make a post we can reply directly to you it won't get lost uh, when things are going by and hey look if you haven't used discord before don't be intimidated by it it is a chat room and we are super friendly over there Everyone except for Peter Molyneux. He's not. But you can ignore him. It's okay. He's our bot. Um, the Discord is my response to the forums that are toxic out there. The forums where you get jumped for asking a dumb question. Uh, honestly, I have no problem answering questions over there and I answer them all day long. The only time I've ever lost my patience is when people ask the same question 
15 times uh, or insist that uh, I'm wrong about my own project <laughs> it can be kind of frustrating. I guarantee you I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Exodus and all my other stuff. I wrote it. Uh, so I, I might have some inclination on how it should work or, or how you can do this kind of stuff. Uh, if you have Exodus version 6 and you have downloaded other Exo packs and you want to merge them, I'll make a video on that. But hey, it's simple too. Put it all in the same folder. Run the Exodus.bat setup file. It'll see it all. It'll do it all for you. It'll merge everything. It'll do it all. Uh, and if you run into any bugs, please report them. We have an updater for a reason. And uh, when Exodus 6.01 comes out, we can address all the issues that have come up since the release date. I hope this helps. The goal is to make this as quick and seamless as possible. So other than the fact that it's a large amount of data that will take a long time to copy, the rest of the procedure should be relatively simple, straightforward, and safe. Thanks.